it's Amy here from Sunshine Functional Healing, and today I wanted to take some time and go over whether or not we should be suppressing our um, emotions. Now, with the holidays in full roar and we're on our way to Christmas, suppressing our emotions is kind of common. We don't want to hurt people's feelings. We don't want to let people down. But should we really be suppressing our feelings? People are wired with emotions, and therefore, when you suppress your emotions, you're actually going to be going against your design. And so this can cause harm to you both physically and emotionally. So there is a time and a place for everything. So you're not going to like scream your emotions across the grocery store because it's not really a great idea to do that in the middle of a busy location. And at this day and age, people could totally mistake why you're yelling across the store. And so that would not be good. So keeping your emotions bottled up is eventually going to lead to stress and other adverse mental conditions. So if this continues on for too long, it can actually cause you to become depressed and it can lead to problems with alcohol or even drug abuse. For instance, many people to just turn to sleep aids or even worse, things like Oxycontin and other opioid types of drugs. And these can be highly addictive and only mask the symptoms. They are seldom used to cure conditions. Many people are taught to suppress emotions by their parents and their grandparents. These generations were taught to do the same and it was felt um, as a true sign of character to be able to keep your emotions in check. So during their time as kids, there was less information about the effects of emotions than there is today. Some people still adhere to the old ways of not expressing emotions. Expressing emotions is similar to complaining and no one really wants to hear it. However, modern studies are pointing to suppressing emotions as a damaging. So there are classes that allow you to let off some steam and people have different ways to accomplish this. Some will play sports such as basketball, while others are going to work out at the gym and pump some iron, right? Meditation is another great way that you can help reduce your stress. And sometimes all you need to do is actually just talk to somebody about what you're feeling. You are letting your guard down when you do this, so make sure that you find somebody that you can trust. If you choose a coworker, make sure that you don't disclose so much to leave you vulnerable um, because that person could go on and tell what you say to others in the workplace. And if this could get back to your boss or another person who may be, um, talk, you might be talking about, this could have obviously negative consequences. So keep your emotions inside is never healthy. However, you do need to try and find the right time to express those emotions. But really, finding that time is crucial to your mental and your physical well being. It is not worth getting sick because you aren't willing to express your feelings um, for yourself and for others. The benefits of letting it out are going to lead you to a better life. And if you like this video, make sure that you click on the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead, subscribe to my channel so you can be alerted with each new video that I put out. I hope that you guys have a great day. And if you would like to learn how I can help you achieve your fibromyalgia goals, such as getting rid of that fatigue, finally putting an end to your chronic pain and improving your brain fog, click the link below and you can set up a free 30 minute complimentary coaching session to learn more. Thanks.